So yeah, what I'm going to do now is to rebuild Falcon itself in case that has any direct dependencies um, at build time. Probably not. It seems to have built, you know, seems to be running fine. Um, but because it's uh, one of the larger packages, I think it might be a good idea to do that just for safety's sake. And it only takes a few minutes to build, as I remember. So there's Falcon. Um, we haven't got those two packages there. So let's remove that directory. Fix and missing include. Fix a build problem. And now let's check what we've got here so I can save time by not testing but let's do the testing so I can copy all of this to build it and wait a little while for it to finish
Well, that's finished compiling, so now I can test it. My test. And 100% pass, that's good. So finally, let's reinstall it. And that's all complete, so I'm going to cross that off in chapter 40. I didn't actually put a mark to reload it, uh, to rebuild it, but um, it was such a big package. Up, and knowing that it wasn't starting correctly without a bit of um, a bit of assistance um, is something I couldn't have forgotten. So I'll shut that down and tidy up. And that's full and complete. So that's really the one of the biggest aims was to complete the completely complete the yeah completely complete the graphical browser, um, which we've done. So we've gone from a basic Linux from scratch. We've installed some tools to enable us to copy and paste within the console to browse the internet from the console. Um, and to download from various protocols from within the console. We've gone from that to building up a basic but fun very functional GUI and from that point we've gone to building a graphical web browser with um, probably just about getting it running being it had to be hacked to, to get it to work and then going on from that to build all the dependencies required that are beneath the graphical browser to to get it running correctly so that's uh, another major milestone so what I'll be doing in the next few videos is just going over tidying up some loose ends um, as you can see I've still got some tabs open I think most if not all of them yeah they're all to do with um, cron so that probably be the first package I'll be installing is cron to enable me to um, update cron information for each of these packages that you can see in the browser at the moment. Um, one that, once that's out of the way, I'll be going through my list and just identifying what packages need reinstalling and why, and try and get rid of them. Mo most of the packages that needed to be reinstalled have been not reinstalled as part of the process to get the browser up and running. Um, but there's a few just looking through. I can see, for example, Ghost Scripts needs to be reinstalled after GTK3. Well, we've got GTK3 installed. And then there was another one somewhere, yeah, Send Mail needs to be reinstalled after Ghost Script. So there's things like that um, to do. There's probably maybe half a dozen, eight, nine or ten maybe, um, that need to be reinstalled. Um, some, maybe one or two, will be quite a lot of work for example graph is um, there was lots of options graph is so that will probably be another milestone to get that up and running once that's done once there are no packages waiting to be rebuilt I'll be moving on to looking at um, some of the desktop environments and uh, session managers and so on um, and we'll move on from there and then when those are built, I'll be looking at some of the bigger packages such as Thunderbird, Firefox, LibreOffice and that sort of thing.